What is up guys? Welcome back. Another episode of the Frey Experience. Out here at Tulloch, gonna be doing the MTB Slam. So let's start this bad boy open. So, okay. Yes, we're gonna start off with a bait like that. Don't know how that's gonna work or how I'm gonna feel about that bait, but I'm gonna try it. Starting off already with the bait I don't like. I gotta find the card now. Hope there it is at the very bottom. Let's start off with this bait. Where's the card at? Oh, it's there at the very bottom. Very bottom. I can't get it. God damn. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with the Real Deal Shad by Big Bite Baits. Retails for $6.99 and it looks like crap. Look at that. Definitely could probably work that on the surface as a little bit of like a little mini buzz bait, soft body buzz bait, swim it like a, uh, an actual swim bait on a weighted head or drop shot it or something. But this is gonna be a hard one. Moving on to the Rockin' Runner by Blakemore. Well, that seems to be this thing right here. It, it just looks like a really size uh, road runner or a stump humper for um, for crappie. But this is shark truce. It looks absolutely amazing. It's quarter ounce, so I may actually try this today because we're up here at Tolik. I almost said Don Pedro. And there's some dirty water, so I may try that. And then uh, the Bad Mad Paca, or the Baby Mad Paca by Netbait. And Netbait's probably one of my favorite companies for their Paca Craw. And this is a, um, ironically, it's a brush hog and green pumpkin. And that retails for $4.99. And Anthony, what are we catching them on up here? Brush hog. We're catching them on brush hog. So that's just, this was a really small one too and has a lot of action. So I'm feeling this pretty darn well. And I'm thinking we catch a fish. And it says it has pork fat and salt and scented. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. And now moving on to the Krusty's. I'm gonna say it's the Krusty's. They retail for $4.99 and they're made by Z-Man. And there are these little guys right here. I don't even know what you want to call these. These are, well, they just fell right out of the package, for instance, so I guess we don't really need that anymore. They are definitely a little tiny craw diddly dad. And the good thing about it is they're stretchy, so the small mouth and the spots and the small large mouth can't really destroy this. But ironically, it's in a blue, has a little blue flake with some copper and that tends to be killer up here at Tulloch. And just so ironically, as you get that, you get the you get the Project Z Shrooms Micro Finesse Jig retails for $4.99, also by Z-Man. You get two of them and a two pack. They are 3 16 ounce, so I'm definitely gonna throw these on and see if I catch a fish on them. And they are, um, they're a bit of a blue pattern, and I do like that. Oh God, I do, what I do not like is how they have a little bit of uh, wire right here as a weed guard. But the good thing about this, it'll stand up like this and hopefully it'll attract some fish. But I'm definitely going to cut this down and throw this as a micro jig. And we're going to see if we catch some fish. And then moving on to the <clears throat> Minnow B by Bagley. I've actually never thrown anything by Bagley that I know of. But I do have an interesting jerkbait that I'm going to tie on right now because we're coming up to my jerkbait spot. And that is uh, interesting. Retails for $5.99. And up to our last bait, which is our most expensive. It's by Live Target. It is the Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank. Retails for $12.49 and it's a definitely a clear crankbait, I'd say. It's a clear kind of muddy color. It's interesting. It's interesting. Very interesting. And we're going to try that. We're actually going to try to do the slam today. Don't know if I'm going to catch anything on the crankbait, the, these two things. But I'm definitely going to try everything here and get you guys what we need. The thing is so finessey, it, it has to catch a fish. It has to. This, ha this, ha this has to be a smallmouth killer. I mean, it has to. What if we break it off on the hook set? <laughs> oh, fuck. I got one. You got one? Yeah. Oh, that really good? Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's a bass, though. That or it's a smallmouth, I think. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a smallmouth. Okay. Told you it's a smallmouth nice. killer. Told you it's a smallmouth killer. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, there's the first fish of the slam right there on that little tiny micro jig by Z-Man. And hey, when you get a chance, look at this hook right here. Look at this. Right there in the lip. Not even hooked, basically. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Holy Not even hooked. That was up shallow. That's our first fish of the day. It's a 12-incher, so it counts. 
he's going to the box for our day. Looking at it, he has it. Got, Got him! Bed fish. That was a good one. Yeah. On the slam bait too. Want me to grab him just in case he's not hooked all the way? Nah, he's hooked pretty good. Yeah. Not really. You want me to get him? I got him. Don't worry about it. There's a female now. Yeah, that's why I said I saw him that's and I was like, one. yeah. I saw him and I was like, oh, there's. I think I need different lenses. I can't see very well. Mine, my lens is already even polarized. Chunky. You got him on the micro jig? Yep. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> well, that's one. That's a Yep. So I wasn't recording because I was reeling in, but this fish just ate. He just ate the net bait, bait uh, the the brush hog bait from the box. There's two baits off the slam for me. I got that weird swim bait. I got that jerk bait and that crank bait. He's a he's 12 inches, but I'm not gonna keep him. Got a bunch more to do on the slam, but I got seven baits to work with. Two are down, four more to go, five more to go. Let's get out there, let's do it. I know, that's what I'm doing. There's one. Yeah. On the jerk bait that I hate. Now he has to get smoked. <sighs> Not a bad one. Guys, I literally just threw this thing up in shallow water. Oh, nice smallmouth. Small on nice that on that big bite baits thing. I wish we got that. That was an epic blow up. Nice smallmouth. It's a nice, nice dude. That was like that was like what two cranks into it. Yeah, that's nice. That's a biggie small. And I just said top water over that would be awesome. And he just choked it. Damn. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> nice. Now spines. Super shallow too. Before we screw this spot up. Oh shit! It drops right into twenty nine feet. Man. Oh yeah. That's a big small mouth. Nice. Gotta release them. You already got your five. A call. <laughs> big smallmouth on the big bite baits thing, guys. That was the worst thing I was afraid of. Was that bait wasn't gonna work. Oh. You have to throw it like a frog. You have to throw it like a frog. I, I, let me show you how you guys have to have this rigged right here. I wish I was recording. I didn't think I was actually gonna get one. But what I'm doing is, I'm actually side hooking this. Instead of people drop shotting it or throwing it on a weighted head, is you only really get two tries with a fish with this because either side they just get blown, they just get destroyed instantly. But side hooking it like a horny toad, you guys watch my videos, I throw a horny toad. This thing's just working on the surface, just like a plopper, soft body buzz bait. That's how we do it. Hey guys, out here with B Mitch. What's up, bros? And we're gonna be out here and we're gonna try to slay some bass. It's currently 520, let's say that. I'm uh, going to continue the slam from yesterday, the MTB slam, so we're going to try that. And we're going to see how that goes. I am really concerned if I'm going to actually catch the fish because I have limited tackle. As always, guys, let's go. And I just got hit again. There's one. On oh, chatter. Well, that's... that. Well... That's the slam right there. I'm already done. <laughs> he choked the chatter. Turn my back for two seconds. Nice little post-spawn bass. Actually, nope, he's peeing. He's uh, he's about to get ready to spawn, guys. Look at that. A guy about three days ago caught a seven-pounder by my house. Oh, my God. Oh, nice little 